Hi everyone, welcome to yoga class. Let's get started. We're gonna to come to sitting up on a block if you have one, cushion or a rolled up towel. What you wanna be able to do is get the knees below the hips. That's the most important thing. So if you find yourself sitting cross-legged and your knees are way up like this, you might want to come to sitting on your knees, on your heels, like so. Or you might also prefer to be sitting in a chair for the opening exercises. So coming to sitting in a comfortable posture with your spine nice and straight. Resting the hands on the knees. Four fingers and thumb touching, palms down. Heart is open, shoulders are relaxed. Crown of the head is floating towards the ceiling. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the nose. Closing the eyes. Just taking some time to become aware of your breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. Letting go of any cares of the day. Taking some time to turn inward. Coming home to the breath. Now beginning to lengthen the exhales. Getting a slight constriction at the back of your throat as if you were trying to fog a mirror. <sighs> Inhaling for a count of four. Exhaling to a count of eight. Inhaling for four. Exhaling for eight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Going into our full yogic breath now as we inhale, fill the belly and the chest all the way to the throat. Take two sips at the top. Hold eight. Exhale, eight. Again, inhaling into the belly, the chest, all the way to the throat. Two sits. Hold, eight. And slowly exhale. Again, breathing into the belly, the chest, all the way to the throat. 
two sips. Hold ten. And exhale. All the way down, pressing the air out. And relax. Very nice. We're going to do a little bit of breath exercises today, pranayama. So we're going to start with uh, analog Paloma. So analog Paloma's alternate nostril breathing. We'll be breathing in one side of the nose, holding it, exhaling the other side, and then reversing. Okay. So I will talk you through it. But for now, let's raise the right hand. You're going to take your peace fingers. And you're going to take them down. Okay, into Vishnu Mudra. Your thumb is going to cover the right nostril. Notice that I'm not going to let my head torque or my spine or anything like that. You're just covering the nostril. Your ring finger will cover the left. So to alternate between them, basically I just swivel my wrist. Right and left. So we're going to start by inhaling through both nostrils. Close the thumb, exhale. Inhale, same side, four. Close both, hold eight. Open the thumb, exhale. Inhale, same side. Close both and hold eight. Open the finger, exhale. Inhale. Close both, hold 10. Open the thumb, exhale, eight. Inhale, four. Close, hold 10. Open the finger, exhale, eight. Inhale, four. Close, hold, 12. Open the thumb, exhale. Inhale. Close, hold 12. Open the finger, exhale. Slowly release the hand. Close the eyes and sitting very still for just a moment.
and slowly opening your eyes. And coming down off your block or cushion. Do a little bit of warming up. So take your left hand to the side. On tented fingers, walk yourself out to the side. Sweep the top arm down and up. Keeping both sides of the body long. Reaching through the top hand. Same shoulder is down. Reach the opposite knee and hip down to the mat. Go into the breath. Beautiful. Take your arms slightly forward. Pull the heart back. Pull the lower abs back, rounding out the back, reaching forward. Beautiful, coming up to center, open the arms slightly, palm forward, take the heart through the shoulders, opening up the front of the body. Keeping weight in both sit bones. Good, and come to center and release the arm. Very nice, other side. Take the right hand out on tented fingers. Walk yourself out. Sweep the arm down and up. Nice long line. Beautiful. Reaching through the hand. Shoulder is down. Opposite knee and hip are reaching towards the floor. And go to the breath. Beautiful, take the hand slightly forward, pull the heart back, pull the lower abs back, rounding out the back body. Beautiful, coming up to center. Open the hand slightly, palm forward, reach the heart through. Nice. Breathing, opening the front body. And come to center, sweep the arm down, and coming up. Inhaling both arms up into the air. Exhale, reach the heart forward, dive down, land on tented fingers. Pull the heart slightly back into the back body. Pull the lower abs back. Keep the sit bones on the ground. And the forehead reaches towards the floor. Never forcing, of course. Steady, comfortable stretch. Go to the breath. Nice, and slowly walk yourself back up to sitting. Beautiful, and come to all fours. Tabletop position. So the hands are directly underneath the shoulders, the knees are directly underneath the hips. So the knees are about six or eight inches apart. Hands are nice and bright and flat. Nice flat spine, beautiful. Inhale, exhale, pull the belly to the spine, tuck the head, tuck the tail. Marjoriasana, cat pose. Inhale, come to neutral spine. 
and lift the head, lift the tail, reach the heart forward and up. So you're lengthening the spine as you arch. Exhale, come to center, pull the belly towards the spine. Inhale, neutral spine, reach the head forward and up, heart forward and up, tail is long. Exhale, belly to the spine. Inhale, come to neutral. Lift the head, lift the tail, heart comes forward and up. And exhale to neutral. And pause for a minute. <coughs> Inhale. And exhale, look back at your tail. So now we're doing a sideways arch. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, the other side. Take it on your own time. So inhaling through center and exhaling, looking towards your tail. And then the other side, whenever you're ready. Take it at your own pace. And coming to center when you're ready. Beautiful. Sitting back on the heels. Take your forearms off the ground. And just rotate the wrist a few times. Loosen it up. And coming up into our next pose will be downward facing dog. So take your hands shoulder width, a little wider than shoulder width apart. The index fingers are going to be parallel to each other. Hands are nice and bright and flat. The first knuckle, very important, is down on the ground. So if this happens, the wrist might get sore. So make sure that that first knuckle is flat on the ground. Very good. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the hips. Push back, reach the hips back and up. So you're in a nice inverted V. Relax the neck. Beautiful, and pedal the feet. Reaching one heel down and then the other. Stay with the breath. Good, and reaching both heels down to the mat, reaching. Make sure to keep your knuckles down on the ground. Nice, lift the right leg up and bring it forward between the hands. Step in between the hands into a nice long lunge. If you don't get there in one step, that's fine. But pull it between the hands and drop the back knee. If you have sensitive knees, you can put a towel or a blanket or something under your knee in the back. Your front leg, the knee should be directly over the ankle. So if your knee is forward of your ankle like this, this is putting too much pressure on your knee. Make sure that it's right over the ankle. If it's not, you can take this leg back more if you need to. You're fine here. So from here, take your forearms up to your thighs. Take your hands up to your hips. And we're gonna bend and straighten in the front leg, opening up the front of the back thigh. Keep that knee directly over the ankle. Don't let it go forward of the ankle. Very good. Come to the forward position. Good. Take your forearms back onto the thigh and lift the back knee up. Tuck the toe, lift the back knee, lengthening the back of the leg, reaching that heel back. Very nice. And lower, 
good. One more time, lifting and lower. Very nice. Taking the same arm as the back leg, the left arm, reach it forward and up. Lifting the heart forward and up. Your other hand can be on the low back, on the sacrum, it can even be on the front leg if you need it to be. Just there for balance. Beautiful, coming back to neutral. Take that elbow across the leg and twist. Place your hands in prayer position and push them together. Exhaling, nice. Making sure that your head is in the same line as your spine. Good, and releasing to neutral. Place your hands flat on the mat. Come up on, up, uh, raise the knee, and bring your back leg forward. You can take it in a couple jumps, in a couple steps, or you can just step straight forward into a forward fold. Unlock the knees. Take your elbows in either hand, and just allow your back to lengthen can do a very gentle swinging from side to side, whatever feels good to you. Knees can even be a little bit more bent if you need them to be. Good, and releasing the elbows, bending the knees a little bit more and slowly rolling up one vertebra at a time, keeping your head down until the last. Very good. So the feet are a little bit apart. They're pointed straight ahead of you. Take your hands together, low prayer position. Inhale, arms over the head. Exhale, take your thumbs to your heart, prayer position. Inhale, take your arms over your head. Exhale, fold forward, folding at the hip. Good, all the way down. Bend the knees a little bit. Tight, take your elbows in either hand. Lengthen out the back. Good, release the arms. Take your hands on tinted fingers on the floor. Bend the knees a lot. And take the left leg back all the way back, or your right. <laughs> Take the other leg back, there you go. All the way back and drop the knee. Again, check to make sure that the knee is directly over the ankle. You can take the foot back just a little bit. There you go. Nice, take your forearms to the thigh, and then the hands to the hips, and reaching forward and back. Bending and straightening the front leg. Opening up the back thigh. Nice, and come to a forward position. Put the hands on the knees, on the thigh. Lifting the back leg, tuck those toes, lift the knee, reach the heel back. And slowly lower the knee. Beautiful, one more time, lifting it up, reaching that heel back. And lower, very nice. Same arm as the back leg, reach it forward and up. Reaching the heart forward and up. The other hand can be on the hip, the sacrum, or the thigh. Breathing. Nice. 
Nice, and coming to center, taking the elbow across the thigh, twisting, place the hands in prayer position, press the palms together, and twist. If you have any issues with your wrist, you can also do a grasp of the wrists like this. Or like this, this works as well. Keeping the head in line with the spine. Good, and hands down, hands down. Take the back leg forward and might take a couple little hops or one big step, folding forward, bending the knees, and rolling yourself up. Very nice. And come to laying on your back. Taking your feet as wide as the mat, let the toes fall out. Palms are facing upward. Slightly away from the hips, Shavasana. So whenever we go into this pose, you really just want to let everything go. Try to let all your muscles go. Allow your breath to come back down. breath rate and your heart rate to come back down to normal. Relaxing fully. Coming back into your body, wiggling the fingers and toes. Rolling your wrists and ankles. Beautiful. So we're going to remain lying on the back. We're going to go into Satyugandasana, bridge pose. So bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet flat on the floor. They're about a hip width apart eight to 10 inches apart. And you can just touch your heels with your fingertips. Make sure the base of your big toe especially has weight in it and always has weight in it. You wanna be uh, pressing through the four corners of the foot. Palms are face down on the mat. And pressing into your feet, lift the pelvis, the heart. The heart is reaching past your head. Very nice. Clasp your hands behind your back and bring your shoulders closer together, walking to the outside of your shoulders. Your heart is reaching past your head and your chin is staying a little bit away from your chest. Looking up towards the ceiling, go to the breath. And unclasp your hands and open your shoulders and slowly roll yourself down. Very nice. Rest here for one moment. Good, and we'll do it one more time. Feet are underneath the hips, palms are down on the mat. Push through the feet, lift the pelvis, reach the heart past the head. Clasp the hands behind your back, walking the shoulders towards each other. Go to the breath.
beautiful. Unclasp the hands, release the shoulders, and slowly roll yourself down. Take your knees to your chest, hug your knees to your chest. Bring your nose to your knees and squeeze into a tight ball. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release, extending the legs as wide as the mat, palms facing up. And relax, let everything go. Coming back into your body, wiggling your fingers and toes, rolling your wrists and ankles, rolling yourself completely onto one side. Press yourself up to sit with the top hand and come to sitting with the legs long. We're going to go into Paschimottanasana, our forward fold. Sitting nice and tall all the way up on your sit bones. Inhale, arms over the head. Exhale, dive. Reach your heart towards your toes. Heels are flexed. Grab your toes, your ankles, your shins, your knees, whatever you can. It's not about how far you can go down. It's just about meeting your challenge spot. You just want to meet it. You don't want to push too far past it. Just meet that challenge spot for yourself. Nice, comfortable stretch. You can relax the elbows down, allow the back to open up across the back as well as down the spine. If you find that you're feeling this much more in the legs than in the back, you can bend the knees a little bit and you can put your arms underneath your knees. So this is more a stretch for the back body. Very nice. Try to keep your toes together. You don't want to let your feet uh, open too much to the sides and then straight up. And slowly roll yourself up. And come to lying on your stomach. Making a pillow with your hands, resting your cheek on your hands, allowing your toes to touch and the heels to fall outward. Very nice. So your legs are slightly turned in, opening up the low back. Just rest there for a moment. Good, and moving into Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. So take your feet together, heels and toes are touching, toes are pointed, hands are underneath your shoulders, fingertips in line with the shoulders, elbows are in by your sides, forehead is on the mat. Inhale, reach out the crown of your head, look up, reach the heart forward and up, rolling up. And when you get to the top of where you can move, you can release your hands, take them up off the mat. So it's your core, it's your back strength, your upper back strength. Pressing your feet down into the mat, pressing the pelvis down. 
and slowly rolling yourself down. Make a pillow with your hands. Turn your head the other direction and let the heels fall out. Good, and one more time. Forehead is on the mat, feet are pointed in together, hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up, heart forward and up. Press the feet down, lift the hands. Hands are only there for balance. You can keep them down on the mat as long as you're not pushing through them. Just there for balance. and slowly roll yourself down, pressing back to sitting on the heels. Bring your knees forward underneath you and rest in your forehead on the mat in child's pose. Arms by your sides, palms facing up. And rest here, allowing the back to open. slowly rolling yourself up. Very nice. And come to sitting with your legs extended in front. We're going to do Ardha Matse Andrasana, half Lord of the Fishes pose. So you're all the way up on your sit bones. Take your right knee up with the foot fat flat on the floor. Good. Take the right knee across the other leg. Now, if this is good for you, you can stay in this position or you can tuck the other leg behind you. Make sure you're not sitting on the heel. You want both sit bones on the ground. So if you need to adjust your seat, you can do that. If you can't get both your sit bones on the ground in this position, extend that leg again and keep it forward. So whenever we're gonna be doing a twist and whenever we're doing a twist, we wanna have our spine nice and straight. If you're like this, it's not going to work the same way. Okay? So we're going to take our opposite arm to me, hug the knee towards us, take the other hand behind you like a second spine. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist, looking over the shoulder. Using your core strength to twist. Take a couple breaths here. And if you want to get deeper into the stretch as Nathan is, then you're going to lengthen with the inhale and twist a little deeper with the exhale. Making sure you're just using your core strength to twist. Don't try to use your upper body to force a twist. Only your core strength. And slowly unwind. and bring both legs forward, taking the left knee up, taking the left leg over, and folding the opposite leg in, making sure you can get on both sit bones. If not, keep that lower leg extended. It's perfectly fine. Opposite arm hugs the knee, arm behind you like a second spine. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. breaths here. And 
and slowly unwind and coming up to stand. Do a couple of standing poses. So the first one we're going to do is triangle pose, Trikonasana. Take your feet shoulder width apart, allow the tail to drop down in a way, heart is open. Take the palms of the hands together and over the head. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, bending to one side, keeping weight even in your feet, so we don't want to kick out the hip. A couple breaths here. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. And exhale, relax a little bit. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bend to the side. Keeping the weight in both heels evenly. Inhaling, coming up, and exhale, release the hands. There we Coming into our three pose, Trikonasana. I'm sorry, Rikshasana. Trikonasana is what we just did, Rikshasana. So if it's uh, better for you, you can do this off the mat. You can do this on the floor, on the mat works as well. So when we want to plant a tree, the first thing we have to do is dig a hole and then really commit the foot to that spot, even spreading the toes a little bit. Bring your pelvis all the way forward. Take the back leg off the ground. You can put it on the inside of your leg or you can put it all the way up on the thigh, whichever one works for you, just not on your knee. Open that knee to the side. Bring your hands together in prayer position. Press the palms together. Find a focal point and balance. Pressing the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. other leg, dig your hole, commit the foot to that spot, tail is down, all your weight is on that leg, bring the other leg up, you can go below the knee or above the knee, open that knee to the side, take the hands in prayer, thumbs at the heart, Rooting into the ground.
Very nice. Coming to one last pose. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Taking the toes and the ankles together. Inner thighs slightly moving towards each other. Dropping the tail down. Opening the heart. Take the hand palms together. Take the thumbs to the heart. And then the forehead. From the forehead, they go straight up. And then you're going to slowly look up into the little almond shape, the little space between your palms. We're going to remain there for one minute. If you'd like more of the challenge, you can close your eyes. Slowly lower the hands all the way down and release. Come to lying on your back. Final relaxation. Taking the feet as wide as the mat. Toes are falling out. Palms are facing the ceiling. Scanning the body for any tension. Releasing it with the breath. Closing the eyes. And taking some time to relax fully, accumulating all the benefits of the practice. So often we're rushed and hurried in life. It's very important that we learn how to relax fully. Relax the feet. My feet are relaxed. Relaxing the knees. My knees are relaxed. Relaxing the hips. My hips are relaxed.
Relaxing the waves. My waves is relaxed. Relaxing the shoulders. My shoulders are relaxed. Relaxing the arms, the hands, the arms, my hands are relaxed. Relaxing the neck, the head, my neck, my head. Are relaxed. Letting everything go. Resting in
slowly coming back into your body. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Rolling your wrists and ankles. Take your arms over your head. Take a nice big stretch. Inhale and exhale with some sound. Stretching over to one side. Rolling yourself onto your side. Press yourself up to sit. Your hands at your heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.